Alrighty, welcome back everyone. I am Blaze here. So I want to talk in this video about what I consider to be one of the most useful programs, if not a must-have, for playing EverQuest, whether you're on Project 1999, which I feel is even more useful there, but also on EverQuest Live. So let's talk about it. We're talking about Gina, or GinaSoft. And what it is, it is a program, it's actually the interface, it's a program that reads your log files in game and it gives you cues or timers, a bunch of different stuff. Um, so you can audibly hear or you can see what's going on at any point in time. So in my opinion on it, it's, it's really one of the best programs for playing this game. It's one of the best accessory programs and it's not a violation of the, U, the ULA. You can use this while you're playing. It doesn't do anything to the game beyond read what's been given to you. And it gives you a tremendous load of situational awareness for what's happening at all times, depending on the triggers you have made. It's great for soloing. It's really great for grouping. And I think it's a must-have, at least in our guild, you have to have it for raids because it gives you cues as to when, say, AoEs are going off. So let me show a, a picture. of I took a screenshot of a raid last night because I won't be able to show all of it. But if you follow my cursor... So you can see on the left-hand side here where my cursor is, Bard Epic, 55% haste, damage shield, J-boots. So I have this set up for my quick, my short duration buffs. Then the center here where it's black, this shows me the AoE is going off for this raid mob, so wave of heat. So every seven seconds, this guy's going to do an AoE fire blast. That's why it's useful for raids, because it gives you the timers of when stuff's about to go off. On my right side, I have my own like resist buffs, how long they're lasting, and then my long duration buffs. This is just a general example of how it works. But let's get into the next portion. So let's talk about how do you even get Gina. So how you get Gina is this. You want to go onto this website, which I will leave a link in the description. Just type in EverQuest Gina. And it will bring you here, and then you just go to download, and you're pretty much set from that point. Install the program, and run it. And then what you need to do is once the program is installed, you'll need to go onto the character that you're intending to play, and make sure that you have log files turned on. So slash log. So what you do is you type in slash log on. And you should see some text that says logging to EQ log that dot txt is now on. And what that does is if you go to your EverQuest directory, where you have all your main files, if you go to logs, you should see all your characters here, are the ones that you have logging being done to. And what you do with Gina is, one moment, okay. So what you do with Gina is, you see where it says add right here? Just click add, and you find that log file in the directory. Just click on it, and that will sync up the character, and you will be good to go. And then it will give you a, a profile, essentially one of these profiles. And you know your uh, your thing is reading. Your uh, Gina is reading files for a particular character. If you see that, if you see that little red outline, that means it's actually reading for a character. So I can do a quick test, see if it's working. And yep, those are my triggers there. So when you first get Gina, it's going to be a bit barren. It's not going to have any of this right here. I have. A lot of stuff set up it's going to be barren so what you want to do getting triggers is find someone in your guild who typically does these triggers or even me if you see me on mangler i'm willing to give you my triggers so find someone in your guild just send them a tell and ask if they can give you triggers and all they're doing is they're just selecting everything right clicking it send to clipboard quick share I'll create all the files, 
and then all they have to do is a control V for paste and EverQuest and it'll give that. It'll give a file and that what it will do is Gina will give you uh, things we're saying X and XYZ person is attempting to share triggers with you. Do you want to accept? And you just click yes. Now, sometimes you have difficulty in even getting the triggers, and that's why you have to check your settings. You want to make sure that your sharing tab is open. If you have nobody, you won't be able to receive triggers from anybody. So, that's one thing you have to be concerned about. So, yeah, make sure you have anybody selected here and sharing under settings. And... Also, one other thing you might want to do is these files get pretty big, so you want to have log maintenance on and make sure that they're getting... Make sure that they're getting uh, routinely trimmed. Yeah, like, let me make this quick quicker. Seven days. There we go. So, that, that definitely helps. That definitely helps out. And let's say that, let's go to the next portion. Let's say that if you want to make your own triggers, like I have here, how do you do that? So the best reference, the way triggers work is that, let's say, let's go under Ghidorian, class Necromancer, spells, buffs, okay. So the way triggers work is all you want to do is go into a very section, click add, and let's say sample. And now you need to find search text. And what this is, that's the text that's going to go off. You can see your feet slow down. You are covered in, by a sticky substance. Uh, you gather shadows around you. That's the starting trigger. So fortunately on live, they added this where when you right click a spell description it will say the starting trigger you gather shadows about you and that's what you will see in game but if you don't have access to that and this doesn't have all the information if you don't have access to that you can go to alakazam and just type in okay let's do gather shadows also p99 is also it's uh it's wiki is a good reference too cast on you, you gather shadows about you. So what you want to do is take that text and copy it into that. And if you want, when uh, the trigger goes off, when it just starts, you can do a display text saying sample on. So anytime that clicky goes off or whatever, it'll send text straight to your, the middle of your screen right around here. Um, and as well, you can create a timer. So as you can see, gather shadows lasts for 20 minutes. So what you can do is create a countdown timer, set it to 20 minutes. And ideally, you typically want to put this on restart current timer. So if you refresh the buff, if you do start a new timer, it'll just kind of spam every single time that you use it. It's going to create another, another, another. So you want to do restart timer so that it just refreshes the current one. And the next thing is uh, end early text. So this is say if it gets dispelled or if it comes off early, whatever it might be. This is the portion that's not given in game. So you see that your shadows fade. That's not given in the spell description. So this is why you definitely do need to go onto a website to get that portion. So it's on... It's on Alakazam, you see, effect fades, your shadows fade. And what you want to do with that, copy and paste the shadows fade into this, and that will work. Also, there's some other ones you might want to use. Like, I'll show my actual trigger for it. You can also do You Have Been Slain. That's one commonly. Yeah, You've Been Slain, that one. So if you die, your, your buff goes off. Let me copy that actually into the Gather Shadows. 
and as well you can do some other stuff when if it can give you a trigger as to when the timer is about to expire so you can just click on that and it will tell you and as well it can give you a trigger as to when it just ended which is useful and let's talk about categories so the way you can what you want to do is if you like to make it a little less messy like i have on my uh desktop let me go off to it <clears throat> so as you can see in this picture i have it kind of organized a little bit so these are all different overlays so red's a different overlay that's purple black all that those are all different overlays let me actually turn it off right now <clears throat> and what you can do what i'd suggest to do is create different little sections so properties so my debuffs and discs will go right there this is basically where you're sending the information, what little tab or bar you want to send it to, what area of the screen you want it to go to. And what you can do with this is you go to categories, this buff is under the category purple top left short buffs. So you go to categories, purple top left, and you want to send it to the left short buff overlay that's here. And when you do that, it will send it to the correct area of the screen that you want it to go to. I don't know if that helps so much. I'm not showing it very well there, but that's just the general idea. That's how you can make it a little less messy when you do stuff. Like, let me uh, actually find a mob and I will... show so that's my short buff overlay this is going to be my dot overlay for my necro should go off right there yep if i had raid timers going off like a slow on a raid mob or it's about to do an aoe it would be on this general and this middle overlay and then typically i have my really long duration buffs right up here so that's how that portion works so that's pretty much all you don't have to also just use alakazam you can also use the uh P99 wiki. Like, let me go to the spells. Yeah, the P99 wiki also has information for at least up to Velius about the cast on you and the wear off triggers. So, hopefully, that's enough to help people get started. Again, if you typically to get these triggers, just ask someone in your guild and make sure you have your sharing enabled. If not, uh, if you see me on a mangler, I'm more than willing to share what I've got. So thank you guys all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.